The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. By the way, that Fox News report is so important on the criminality, and I'll say that the criminality of media matters. White House run George Soros uh, authoritarian uh, attack group, how they're coordinating the press and, and, and putting out fake news stories while trying to destroy the alternative media, that Kurt Nemo is doing a story that shows the head of Media Matters admitting it on CNN this weekend, and then Fox responding. So we're going to have both those posted in the article that Kurt Nemo is doing. It's going to be a very important article at Infowars.com. Very important to get that out to everybody you know, because I don't want to just cover this in a vacuum. Hey, the White House-run George Soros Media Matters works with the media on stories, and then have David Brock sit there and hide it in plain view on CNN like, yeah, we help with some stories, while the very same White House and Justice Department persecutes people for their free speech. Hertz article is going to point out they're persecuting 501c3 Christian groups, pro-life groups, conservative groups, revoking them, while they're White House run and are tax exempt. This is the height of criminal hypocrisy. But the Fox pundit points out the final point that they've said they want to destroy Fox News and other media they see as alternative. 
just like the White House memos from the Bill Clinton library that just came out. And by the way, Farah's going to be in studio. I don't know if he's going to release the full document. They were able to get what Clinton had released, the 30 pages. They have the rest of the 270 pages or so. They have the rest of the information, so he'll be in studio. This is the kind of stuff that should bring Obama down, scare the rest of the criminal government to stop being so rampant and arrogant. They're like criminals at the White House robbing banks in plain view, and no one's going after them. They've been emboldened. They have to be dealt with. They have to be stood up against. And let me tell you, a Republican gets into office and does anything like this, I'm going to come after him. I mean, I thought Bush was horrible. And I had no idea that when Obama got in, it was going to be like an F-18 putting its afterburners on. I mean, they are just accelerating everything they are doing. And they're normalizing that, oh, yeah, the White House runs a tax-exempt group that wants to shut down other media. And, yeah, we are shutting down other media. We're going after Christian groups, and uh, we're persecuting you. I mean, Nixon had to step down because of a hundred and something names in a safe that he was planning to use to persecute people. And then now they're just doing this out in the open. And MSNBC gets up there on television and says, hey, we're basically allowed to do whatever we want. So I'm going to go to your phone calls. I'm going to stop belaboring this until um, Farah joins us in studio. But we've got to circle the wagons around the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, state government, local government, and the Libertarian Movement and the Republican Party, because it's all we've got that isn't completely captured by the globalist. The federal government is an occupied globalist system in their own words. The Pentagon is now taught that at the highest levels. The government is openly training for war against the people. It is illegitimate. It is a fraud. And everyone who knowingly works with this system and who aggressively empowers it is a collaborating treasonous enemy. If you go along with the system because you're a coward, but don't energetically help it and kind of drag your feet, you're a disgraced person. And you're helping destroy your own future. And shame on you. If you're ignorant and didn't know about this information, it's shocking to you. Research what I'm saying, find out it's true, and then decide what you're going to do about it. But if you're hearing this information and you work for corporations or government, and you know what I'm saying is true because you're living it. Why are the military our number one listeners? Why are the police probably the second largest group of listeners? And then corporate henchmen and people. Because who do you think runs things, folks? The police, the military, the intelligence operatives, the corporate chiefs. They have to know how stuff really works to be able to navigate it themselves. They want to know how it works, and they know I've decompartmentalized this. From my perspective, I don't have all the answers, but I know what I'm talking about. And I'm here to tell you, if you work for this system, and you help them start this civil war, or you help them prosecute this war against patriots, to the devil with you. Because this evil being born, this tyranny that's coming in is, is like nothing the world has ever seen. I just got chills. You know, I might go a month without saying I'm getting chills, and then I say them like every day. I had Joseph Farah on Friday. I was like, I was getting chills. Because my body realizes, my mind, my nervous system realizes how serious this is and how I haven't taken it seriously enough. You ever come home and you see your front door open and you see somebody run by the windows? I've only come home once when I was about 11 years old with my parents while somebody was in the house stealing stuff and they ran out the back door. And literally the back sliding glass door um, curtains was swinging in the wind and then stopped as we ran in. The person had just run out stealing our stereo and some of my mom's jewelry. And I remember when we pulled up, you pulled up in the car right by the front door there in the garage and seeing the door ajar 
And my dad's saying, well, the door is open. Hope the dog didn't get out. And as we turn, seeing somebody run out of the front window and that chill, that's, that's your body going, get ready to fight somebody. Get ready for an enemy. You ever been walking like to put the garbage out? You live in the city and somebody's dog's out and runs out barking and you get that chill? That's your body putting hormones out, putting adrenaline out to fight, ladies and gentlemen. And when I look at this information, I start getting chills because my body's going, enemies. I mean, they're arresting people all over the place. They're persecuting people all over the place. They are openly using the IRS against Christians. They are openly sending out media groups to, to, to tell ABC, CBS, NBC what to do. And that's not enough for them. So now they're actually putting all the White House people in as the anchors of ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC. And you notice none of them are Republicans other than like Newt Gingrich on CNN. And he's a CFR globalist. They're all Democrats. Because let me explain something. There is not going to be a Republican Party anymore in 20 years. In 10 years. They don't even intend for it to be there. And you're like, good, the Republicans are horrible. You don't get it. It's just a shell, ladies and gentlemen. They don't want any opposition. We're going to a one-party state. Again, Media Matters head coordinates with the White House, builds super PACs to spend unlimited George Soros money to shut down free speech, pass anti-hate laws that even the Boston Herald called chilling speech ending. They're coming for everything, and it has nothing to do in the final equation with getting rid of the Republican Party. That's just a stepping stone. It's about getting your pension. It's about racially dividing the country more. It's about gutting this nation. They want free speech shut down. They want to be able to arrest anybody they want. Filmmakers, governors, congressmen, former FBI agents, you name it. They're arresting them right now. They could come arrest me next week. They're getting that bold. They're that criminal. And let me explain something to people. They're now moving into this mode. Okay, things are getting very dangerous. As Matt Drudge said again, I quote Drudge so much because what he says is so accurate. He put out in his tweet, he said, it's now time to have an exit plan from the U.S. And it really is time to have an exit plan. Because what are you going to do if they just make something up and throw you in jail? And they'll have a federal jurisdiction that they control come after you, or they'll have a state jurisdiction that they control. Listen, I want to reach out to the Democrats out there. Do you really want to support this? The Democratic operatives, say in Travis County, who've used the district attorneys over and over again to indict Republicans that hadn't done anything. Do you really want to go down this road? Are you really in a gang and you think you're going to win? And again, if the Republicans had this much power, they'd probably be acting like this too. That's what I'm saying. Power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And we've now reached this point. And I know I said I go to your calls and I'm now perseverating on this. It's just that it's really hitting me that I have become comfortable myself with the level of persecution they're involved in. And by comfortable, I don't support it. I decry it and loathe it and hate it. It's that I've become comfortable, learned helplessness, normalcy bias, Stockholm syndrome. The tyranny isn't coming, it's here. The police state isn't coming, it's here. Racism? Racism? Racism is a low level issue. It's huge, but it's low level compared to the ultra rich are tax exempt and we pay for everything for them. And then they lobby to raise our taxes. They're discriminating against every one of us that isn't tax exempt. I don't know about you, but I'm not tax exempt like the rich people. I wonder if I could go get a tax exemption because I'm truly nonpartisan. Could I go get a uh, tax exemption?